Good morning all. It's 32 degrees out and I'm on the lake and I wanted to show you the sunrise, but I gotta go the other way. Okay, there, there is the sunrise. And I just wanted to say that yesterday was the day that the creation of my brother Wayne Clinton Woodcock came into the world uh, in this earthly status. And he is now deceased. And um, so yesterday in ritual of him on my walk, I thought I'd think about all the things he taught me that were life-changing. That's how many things he taught me that were life-changing is that it took me probably the whole walk. I'm going to try to remember a few here for you today. And the one that made me think of it today was that uh, he taught me to look up. And he taught that metaphorically, but also realistically and uh, literally. Because he was the man who, without exaggeration, three children. I know it's like to have two and to be exhausted and to want to do these things, but you don't always get to them. And that is, he's the one with three children that would encourage other brothers and sisters and their children to take the mattress outside at night and lay underneath the stars and look at the vastness of which we have came. And um, that man had a sense of home right from the beginning. And that's a whole other story, but he also taught me that. What is the sense of home? And home is wherever you are, of course. And um, so he taught me to look up and also to look up with your heart and to always have hope. That man had a sense of humor. Carol Burnett said, hurt plus time equals humor. And um, life comes to get us. There's no one who is exempt from trouble and from hurt and from pain and from sorrow because that's the other side of love. So how can you love all these lovely, beautiful people and things and not hurt for them at the same time? And, uh, but he taught me how to have hope through that, through that hurt. And um, he taught me how to print legibly. He taught me how to draw. He taught me how to sign my name and make a signature and what it meant. He taught me how to not doubt because doubt is the slaying serial killer of all hopes and, um, and dreams. And I'll tell you how he taught this. Many of these things he didn't teach with words, by the way, he taught with actions, but uh, he taught me how to, uh, how to not doubt by, he could come routinely, now granted he was talented, but he could come routinely in the window, or in the door, I mean. <laughs> he could come through the window just as quick as the door, by the way. But he'd come through the door, and he wouldn't even look at the uh, the hook of which we hung our outdoor apparel. He wouldn't even look at it, kind of like, uh, you know, I think of a Wayne Gretzky about to make a score, and he isn't looking at the net. He's pretending he's going left when he's really going right. And so it gets uh, all those doubts off your scent when you just keep your heart on what it is that you desire. And he would flick his hat and in uh, undoubtedly it would land on the hook. And what he taught me in that is you just expect it's gonna happen because that's what you're willing to happen. And of course we're learning so much more about the biology behind such things. Uh, what else do you teach me I have to think about? <laughs> he taught me that the finish line is uh, perhaps more important than the start line. And uh, it's always important to plan your exit. Whatever you get into, it's easy to get into things. All you gotta do is plan your exit. How are you gonna get out of this business if it fails, kind of thing. Preparation is 90% of success. So he taught me that, but he also taught me, literally, when you're running a race, when you get to the finish line, that's when you're starting. That's when you're turning it on. And he always saved a little bit in the tank and he taught you that. You save a little bit in the tank and just when you think you're about to make it to the net and you're about to score and he's the defenseman or whatever and he's back checked you, he's got a lot in the tank yet. He turns it on like he hasn't even started. Now again, he was talented, but anyway, so the other thing he taught me is it doesn't matter what your position is. I mean, this is, uh, this is all written through stories of time, of course. And that is we have a purpose and it's important what our purpose is. And, um, and uh, his, uh, his way of teaching me that was I was a little girl and I played hockey with grown men. But he taught me I have a role to play. And it was an important role. It was cherry picking, but it was an important role. He's not the only brother who taught me all these things, by the way. But it was his birthday, so I was thinking of him. And, um, and the fact that how important it is that we play our role. And so... Anyhow, 
what else? I mean, there are so many more things that I can think of um, about my brother, but that's it for today, folks. Blessed be and think about the people you love and what they've taught you and how it's helped you because every little bit of light that they gave you, doesn't matter how smoldered, how beat up that candle is, you don't know what they went through to get you that light. So take that light, hold it tight, guard it against all winds and all gales, and um, give it to the next person. Thanks for listening. Blessed be.